SpaceX ships called Doug. There are, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Bob. Uh, there are two uh, fairing recovery ships, Bob and Doug, named after the first two astronauts to fly on the Falcon 9, and that is Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. Now, on the left-hand side, you're going to see that uh, there'll be some landing birds coming up as the ship is without power going down we'll have some landing burns there are three engines out of the nine that'll be used to do that you'll be able to see that happen as well and again the landing uh, occurs today uh, eight minutes 42 seconds after launch so about uh, four minutes and 20 seconds from now so the booster again is just following a path of mud rock as it's uh, going through the atmosphere mm -hmm. turning around now on the left hand side you can see uh, where we are, what our speed is in kilometers per hour and in kilometers in height, so 124 kilometers right now. On the uh, right hand side the second stage engine is continuing to burn. Uh, that burn today uh, will be 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Now if you'll notice on the left hand side where it says 122 right now, that is the altitude of just uh, doing roughly in my head about 72 miles up you'll notice that number continuing to go down that's as it's getting closer to that landing ship and the landing ship is just read the instructions okay we've switched to a full screen of the second stage you'll notice the second stage uh, Velocity continued to increase, 162 kilometers up right now. Speed coming up on 13,650 kilometers per hour. You can see the Earth uh, just to the east of us, much better weather over the Atlantic. Uh, altitude now coming up on 100 kilometers, about 62 miles. 20 miles or 680 kilometers east of Cape Canaveral. landing now at 2 minutes 24 seconds from now. You'll see some of the trajectory, or I should say some of the uh, small purges of the rocket uh, as we continue to go down, small little adjustments in its trajectory. 
the uh, three main engines will come on, or three of the main engines, three out of the nine engines will come on in eight minutes, 19 seconds. Uh, that'll be a very, very noticeable event from the, the camera. Notice how fast the altitude is decreasing. Uh, now it's 64 kilometers. There's the part of that landing burn or one of the adjustment burns. You're now at the entry burn underway on the left-hand side of your screen. Three engines firing at the bottom of the first stage. You can see that velocity meter slowing down as it re-enters the atmosphere. About a minute 15 until landing. a minute remains in the uh, first burn of the second stage engine. Remaining in the second stage burn. Also about the same amount of time remaining until first stage landing. confirmation uh, verbally of shutdown of the upper stage engine right on time to reach your parking orbit with now set 301. Our altitude's about four miles right now. I'm hoping they'll switch back to the onboard camera on the first stage. They usually have a good view of the landing ship. It's burn standing by for a first stage landing. That's, that's a view of the landing barge. So that's just read the instructions. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to see the landing in just a few seconds. Uh, verbal confirmation of a good stage one landing. We're gonna hope to see that in this view from the drone ship with a little bit of latency here. Okay, the landing has already occurred. We're just waiting for the film to catch up with it. Looks like the video is frozen. Oh, and there it is on the ship. On the drone ship, Mr. Number seventh flight. Seven, uh, dating back to its debut in November 22. Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. Now, on the left-hand side, you're going to see that uh, there'll be some landing burns coming up as the ship is without power going down. We'll have some landing burns. There are three engines out of the nine that'll be used to do that you'll be able to see that happen as well. And again, the landing uh, occurs today, uh, eight minutes, 42 seconds after launch. So about uh, four minutes and 20 seconds from now. So the booster again is just following a path of rock. 